And I know that I'm always talking about wanting to look perfect, and I still do, but I'm like, it don't look that bad. Hello guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Maya. So, I have the lashes on, you can see the lip gloss, all that stuff. I am doing Suspera. <laughs> Sistia me. I think that's how it's pronounced. Alright, it's summertime. Um, I've been using the Muesli Spot Cream. I actually think it's like evening my skin tone out. I really honestly, okay, so let's have a talk about the condition of like my face. <laughs> um, when I went to get Botox, as a, um, I didn't show you, I, I actually haven't even posted that video yet because I'm now editing my own vlogs, ugh, which is annoying. But the people that were editing weren't doing a good job and I don't want to pay more. So I'm just like, do it yourself. I don't like doing things myself. I don't want to do it. I do these because we're easy. And as long as we just ain't too much work. Anyway. Ran over. I am. Um, when the girl who did my Botox. When she was talking to me. She, she was like you know. Pretty much saying you don't need it. Da, da, da. No one needs anything. I want it. Okay. So she was saying though like. My, I have, a, I, have a, 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 I have high cheekbones. So she dragged the um, Q-tip down. She's like, there's no dip, there's no indentation there. It's just gravity. It's kind of, you know, pulling my face down. Like, oh my God, I'm old. Uh, I'm joking. But I'm thinking I want to get filler up until I can start, like, getting facials and things that, to tighten my skin. Because I need to, like, I want to, I don't know. I'm trying to, like, I'm not trying to reverse the clock. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not, you know, we're, we're embracing life embrace aging embrace all that stuff but i don't really want to embrace wrinkles like i don't know like i feel like i didn't get to enjoy my 20s face so <laughs> but anyway so today we're doing cispera cystiamine intensive pigment correction i'm gonna use a small amount like y'all tell me use a small amount um so i'm gonna do that cystiamine is a lightening agent used to use in the treatment of hyperpigmentation disorders such as melasma post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation Something else. I don't, I don't know that word is. Um, so we all know like inflammation can cause discoloration, and it's very ugh, like changing your body type, changing your skin type. You can't really change your skin type, but changing like changing things like that are very difficult. Like just changing um, like chronic skin skin issues that you have is like very difficult to do that. So. We try to find things that we can use in the meantime to make these issues less prevalent on our face, make them less um, noticeable, just to kind of even our skin tone out. And I'm like, my skin tone looks pretty even, I feel like. And I know that I'm always talking about wanting to look perfect, and I still do, but I'm like, it don't look that bad. Let's just go ahead and put it on, shall we? I also started getting, um, oh. I'm gonna use a little amount. This is one pump. I started getting, I got the laser um, tattoo removal on my eyebrows. So it definitely starting to fade um, that. And I have not been taking care of my skin, y'all, at all. So like, it, it doesn't look as bad as it could, but it definitely doesn't look good. Like I'm starting to break out, blah, blah. So I'm like, girl, get back on your skincare. Do your, oh, I'm using three pumps, that's it. Do your exfoliation because, oh my gosh, I need my skin to look good. I need my skin to look good. So yeah, I'm going to I'll just put it on. It's, my eyes are so sensitive, and someone left a comment was like, you're rubbing your face too hard. I, it doesn't feel like I am, but it does look like it. I'm not going to lie. When I, look at these, I'm like, when I look at these videos I'm editing, I'm like, what the? I'm like, is that really how you're rubbing your face? It doesn't feel like that, but it sure looks like it. So, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe are right. I need to um, be gentle somehow. You can uh, somehow do that. So, yeah, let me put this. Uh, that, that's all I'm doing. I'm three pumps. We're going to make it last, all right? So, you know. <laughs> Put these three pumps on, let it sit for 15 minutes. That's when the instructions say. Allows the product to absorb into your skin. And work its full magic. I do really like it. I'm going to continue to use it. I'm also going to keep using the, the hydroquinone. Try at this point, whatever. Something's going to kill me, right? <laughs> what, what, whatever. Whatever. So, um, I'm dramatic and goofy. But also, that's really how I feel. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. So, let me let this sit on my skin for 15 minutes and I'll come back and do the next couple steps of my melasma hyperpigmentation skincare routine. Stay tuned. Okay. It's been 15 minutes and you can see the product still sitting on my face. It has like an oily 
kind of uh, I don't know residue at least like an oily residue sort of that's the best word I can think of right now for it um, so you're not supposed to wash your face before you apply this so I literally got out of the shower didn't wash my face in the shower came from the gym shower didn't wash my face in the shower again so I put the um, the cystiamine on top of the dirty face so I'm about to go ahead and wipe it off with the soft side of these little body sponge things and then I'm going to wash my face with the inky, why am I dropping everything today the inky list uh, fulvic acid cleanser helps brighten skin and gently remove makeup so fulvic acid products products have potential anti-inflammatory and antifungal and antibacterial benefits for the skin they can help treat conditions such as eczema and psoriasis okay um, some people may also use fulvic acid as a supplement supplement to treat other inflammatory conditions such as, oh, huh, maybe I should start taking fulvic acid. I feel like I took something similar before. I'm just, I'm just going to look into fulvic acid. I don't think it was fulvic acid, but I have definitely have like inflammatory issues, digestion, digest, I cannot speak, yeah, that's fine, digestion issues sometimes, so. Anyway, washing this off my face, and I keep, it's just, I don't know, bro. Like, I know I talk about, like, changing your diet and stuff, but again, it's not that easy. Like, it's just hard to do all these things. It's hard. It's not impossible, but it's hard. So let's go ahead and wash this off my face, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just went ahead and just wiped the products off. Now I'm going to wash my face with the fulvic acid cleanser. Um, just to cleanse my skin and encourage exfoliation. I tell you guys all the time that my skin is very uh is one to it like a build up like skin layers of build up not necessarily like the breaking out you know is not really a huge huge issue so much now that i'm in my 30s <laughs> 13 <laughs> um in my 30s um i don't know i still definitely still break out but it's not i don't know i guess because I, I don't know if it's because i'm getting older or because i've been taking care of my skin or a bit, a bit of both um, even when I'm not taking super good care of it, I haven't really been breaking out as much in these areas. I do tend to break out in the same same spots though over and over again. But yeah, my skin buildup is an issue with me. My skin does not rejuvenate, you know, and release toxins and all that stuff as quickly as I would like, as it should, in my opinion. So staying on top of your skincare is a way to make sure your face looks its best. You know, keep everything moving and grooving and flowing and make everything look as even and as perfect as possible. So, again, this is... See, I'm sure it looks like I'm being hard on my face, but it doesn't feel like it. Like, I can't... I don't know who does this. I literally cannot, like... I guess I should, but it feels like I'm not getting the dirt off. <laughs> I'm like, okay, wash your face. Like, what, what, what is that? Ugh. I should try this and see if it makes a difference. It feels so crazy. Like I'm not doing anything. Cause I do, I definitely put some, <laughs> a little bit of force into it. Like a little bit. Into washing my face. Because I want to make sure I'm getting all the dirt and debris and things off. But it does look like I'm being a little, a little harsh. And like I said, it doesn't really feel like it. So yeah, just washing my face. And I'll be back, I guess, to show you guys the next step. So hold on, hang tight. Okay, so I just went ahead and washed my face. And um, I recently learned that you should apply your eye cream first. <laughs> and like, marbles look so non-existent now that the, that the tattooing is like gone. And I, I'm like, I don't know if they're getting thinner or not. I really can't tell. Like, I've always had thin eyebrows, but now the tattoo is like, being faded. I'm like, did I always have these little bald spots or like? I think the girl said that it bleached my hair or something. Oh, it actually did. Oh yeah, it did. Oh ish. I didn't... I just now noticed that they had, like bleached the hair. Oh my gosh! It gave me gray hair. <clears throat> That's I'm like, why do they look like that? That's why. Cause it make the hairs. Wow. Wow, well, okay, anyway, whatever. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I usually use the, I have like a cream, but I'm just using this ointment right now. This is the healing ointment, advanced, the Walmart brand healing ointment. So I just have a big A tub of this. I'm just gonna use that under my eyes. Put some, an occlusive layer, so 
you can kind of it'd be nice if I had that cream to moisturize. But I think I feel like Vaseline and stuff moisturizes my skin too. I I don't know. I know people say like it doesn't really actually uh, moisturize; it just stops moisture from leaving your skin. But to me, it feels like it moisturizes my skin. But I do usually use the cream under it, so I guess it doesn't do as good as the cream. I usually put the cream and then I put this on top of the cream in the car. I think the car. I just got back from a trip. What you guys have seen the vlog it was actually a pretty good time <laughs> for me anyway. I had a good time. Um, so yeah, I am putting this ointment around my eyeballs. I'm just overdoing it, obviously. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Now we have lash extensions on, so we don't wanna, you know, want, want them to last as long as possible. But I actually like when they start to like. This is kind of a good phase for me. I think some of them have kind of fallen out. That's what I like. Now I'm going to go in with this Admire My Skin Ultra Potent Brightening Serum, which has 1% Synovia, Kojic Acid, Azelaic Acid, Lactic Acid, Salicylic, salicylic Acid, and Vitamin C. Diminished dark spots and uneven skin tone. I mean, this has a lot of ingredients that are really good for fighting acne, fighting like, you know, um, build up on your skin. It really helps to turn over the skin cells, things like that. I love that. And also things that help to brighten and even your skin tone out. Seems like nothing's working like the Hydroquinone and the Cystiamine. The rest of the stuff... Is like it, it um you know it um uh what's what I'm looking for it assists it assists those products in like helping your skin to maintain some kind of evenness but as far as actually like me noticing a huge difference from using them I don't know bro I don't know but it's still nice to be able to use them so put this on oh it's tough I like this because it does burn I'm not gonna lie Especially because, like I said, I haven't been on my skincare like that, so I need to like exfoliate some layers. So I like this because of that. Cause it definitely has a tingle to it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I'm using like. Gotta focus on this area, cause baby, this is this area is the first to turn dark during the summertime, and of course here too. But I am right around here too. <laughs> but yeah, my upper lip loves to look. Like, soak up some of that sun that's crazy i did not notice that my it like bleached my eyebrow here she did i heard her say that but i was like it doesn't look like it until i actually just looked again and looked closer definitely gave me some gray eyebrow hairs hairs so the rule is to let your products sit five minutes in between applying them i know i'm being harsh on my face so i'm trying to pull it up because i feel like i'm trying to pull my face down that's not going to make a difference gravity is going to do what it's going to do i think like i said i'm gonna get some filler in the meantime until i can like Maybe I should get the new face. I might give that a try. I probably actually should. That I can see my I, I probably would use that somewhat. At least a little bit. I might I might, I might use, use it a little bit. Anyway, let me go ahead and let it sit um, on my skin for five minutes, let it absorb. Like I said, you want to give your products five minutes in between applying them to allow your skin time to absorb them fully and to um, you know, make sure that they don't collide with other products when you start mixing things. They may not, you know, the the each individual product may may not work to work as well because um, they're not formulated to work together. And even if they are, you want to give your products time for them to soak into your skin to reach its full potential, and then you can go on to your next step. So let me let this absorb, and I'll be right back. Hey guys. Okay. Who's on? Um. I'm trying to decide if I want to put another serum on <laughs> and really drive it home. Or if I want to just put moisturizer on. I feel like I'm going to put this on. <gasps> Let me know. Don't spill it. The lactic acid. Um, um, HA. High strength lactic acid. Superficial peeling solution. Some people are like concerned that this might actually be, you know, giving me more inflammation. Or just, you know, giving more inflammation. Because I know a lot of people, like black and brown people don't like this that much. And I don't know. I just feel like. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like. I haven't noticed um it's not it doesn't really tingle my skin so I feel like whenever something like the other one I just use it but whenever something like really makes your skin feel like it's tingling that's when I'm like okay a little cause for concern the other one they wanted well, I don't even know where it, where it is the Synovia product I don't use that that often it's one of those things I just have and like every now and then when I want to get you know feel the burn situation I'll use it um, and I am going to use the lactic acid. I don't care. So I'm going to use the a little, ooh, this is actually thinner, so I probably should use this one first. 
not probably you know you know layer your products in the correct order so yes i should have used the lactic acid first oh i'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes not gonna let it sit for too long because i'm tired and i am just documenting my skin journey i'm not a skincare professional i'm not here to tell you what you should and shouldn't use and telling you what i'm using how it's working for me okay i may give you a few little this is what this is that this is what this does this is what that that does every now and then but i'm not a skincare professional guys i don't think i ever said that on camera I, I think i might have said it on camera before but now you know i'm not a skincare professional came right out of the horse's mouth okay <laughs> not a skincare professional just a person who's like trying to perfect their skin okay and yeah i'm not waiting i don't feel like it so i'm gonna go in with the rose hip oil and oh my gosh uh, what in the world wasting products i literally am knocking over the over today clumsy what does that mean isn't that like a superstition look at my armpits Ugh. i need to go get acupuncture and like all types of stuff um rose hip oil and i'm gonna use this other product, this Alpha Arbutin crap that I bought, professional bleaching lotion. This crap, crap. It's supposed to have ten percent um Alpha Arbutin, but child, I don't really think that it does anything. I'm just trying to use it and get rid of it. So, yeah, my skin's dry. I have dry skin, so and it's good to put an oil over. Some people use it, you know, as their last step. I typically put the oil on first, but I'm like. Wanting my other products to really be able to absorb into my skin, so I put it on last today and then putting the moisturizer on. I mix them together. I mix them together. I'm probably gonna do a chemical, my little at home chemical pill thing kind of soon just to liven my skin up again because, like I said, I haven't been taking care of it. So, <laughs> just to kind of give it a little boost, boosty boost. For the summertime, we're gonna be outside, honey. We trying to, you know, make sure our skin's in good condition. Ouch! I'm gonna take this nail, this nail crap off. Did I scratch myself? What the f? It feels like I scratched myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is pretty much it, though. That is my one of my little routines. Products that this the. Oh my gosh, what am I? <laughs> it's just some of the product. These are just some of the products that I'm using at the moment. I love how my skin looks oiled up. Oh my gosh, something's in my eyeball. Is that same here? You're trying to try to sabotage me. Okay. So yeah. Alright, so that is um pretty much the end. I'm all oiled up and greased up to go to sleep. Again, this is just one of the this is just me applying skincare tonight. And um, yeah, trying to get my skin in good condition. So that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you did enjoy that. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel. More videos to come. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for your time, guys. Thanks for watching and bye for now.